It has been a very rainy Wednesday here in the mining town of Linden, found in Region 10. I'm at the Watuka Guest House, which overlooks the picturesque Demerara River. And just across from me, dozens of stakeholders gathered on Wednesday for a significant contract signing event. Now, at this event, a contract worth 22.5 million US dollars was signed with a joint venture company and the Ghana Power and Light to construct the largest ever solar farm in Guyana. That solar farm would be built right here in Linden and would supply electricity, cleaner and greener electricity to thousands of people here in the mining town. A solar farm, a solar PV farm uses large panels to capture sunlight and to convert it into electricity. These panels generate direct current, which is then converted into alterna alternating current through using inverters, making it suitable for homes and businesses and enterprises. To establish reliability, this project includes a battery energy storage system. This system stores excess energy generated during the day and releases it when needed, ensuring stable and continuous power supply when even the sun isn't shining. That was Keshnan Lal, the head of the executive management team of GPL. Of course, he spoke a lot about the numbers, the megawatts of power that will be generated and the cost of the project. The contract we're signing here today is valued at $22.58 million US. The joint venture of Sumac Engineering and XJ, XJ Group Corporation will build three solar farms in, in Linden. A four megawatt at Block 37, a three megawatt at Decura, and an eight megawatt at Reprieve. It will carry an 11 megawatt 22 megawatt hour battery system. Now your daily demand is 11 megawatt. So that those batteries will be able to cover your current demand. For Guyana's Prime Minister, retired Brigadier Mark Phillips, this project is quite significant. As he addressed the contract signing ceremony, he spoke about how this project brings with it a promise of more reliable electricity for the mining town. The needs of electricity in Linden will be supplied by this solar farm that will be ready sometime in 2026. 2026, right? And we will be able to rest the generators and save fossil fuel, right? And save the planet, contribute towards saving the planet. Amir Delawar is integrally involved in what happened here today. He's actually the program coordinator at GAISOL. So maybe first let's talk about what exactly is GAISOL. Okay, so GAISOL is the Guyana Utility Scale Solar PV program. It's a program that is funded under the Guyana-Norway Partnership for, for our provision of climate services to Norway, and it's administered by the Inter-American Development Bank. One of the main objectives of GAISOL is the installation uh, of a total of 33 megawatts of solar PV throughout uh, three regions in Ghana, well, four regions in Ghana, region number two, region number five, region number six, and region number 10. We're installing eight solar farms in total. Tell us why do this project in, in this region? When you look at the uh, resource availability in Linden, for example, um, the town is powered exclusively through uh, a private arrangement with the bauxite company. And it's no secret that the cost of electricity as purchased by the company and sold to the consumers is a big difference. So the government actually plays a substantial subsidy every year. One of the things with solar PV is that the deployment is local. It's indigenous as we call it. And of course, as you know, the sun sends no bill. So we have a mechanism that will allow us to deploy energy resources here that will see uh, the energy needs being served from a facility owned and operated by the, the government. Um, through whichever company, and the, sub, the actual displacement of that subsidy. And then, of course, there's the added benefits of the environmental uh, impact, etc. that's there. 
So there's been a lot of talk today about the savings that would come yeah. from this project. The government will, of course, spend less on subsidies in this town. But I want to delve into those additional benefits you mentioned. There's also been a lot of talk about this project being cleaner and greener. What does that really mean? It means a lot. Now, with the energy production that we will have um, from these solar farms, every unit of energy that is produced and used displaces a unit of energy that uses fuel right now. And of course, with that displaces the emissions that come from the use of energy that is driven by fossil fuel. So primarily, we would be avoiding thousands of tons of CO2 um, on an annual basis simply by deploying these resources and utilizing clean and green energy for mm -hmm. our energy needs in the town. Now, on a secondary level, there, there are further benefits because there's an energy security in utilizing an indigenous energy source. There is nobody that can disrupt the supply of sun to you. Um, there's no international market that can be disrupted with fuel. You're not, you know, at the whims of wars in other countries mm -hmm. when it comes to fuel prices, because all of these things impact right now the cost of generation in the town. Another cool aspect of this project is that it encourages women to get involved in this technical field. We spoke to some of the women involved in GPL's apprenticeship program right here in Linden. Okay, so right now we're training as to how to set it up, as to with the electricity, with the AC currents and the DC currents. We're learning all of that right now, how to set up an off-grid system with the inverter and the control panel and the DC breaker panel and all of those stuff. We're having um, hands-on training along with um, online training where they um, have been introducing us to the different modules, the theory and the practical. And um, so um, the theory we go to on the online classes and the hands-on is where we um, have the practical at the LTI Institute. And um, we're working along with um, Green Solutions International, where we have a wonderful um, trainer, that's Sir Nick, and he's been um, teaching us to um, practice the on-grid system and the off-grid system. And it has been a wonderful experience so far. This project will be a transformational one for Linden. Not only is it going to provide more reliable electricity to people in the mining town, but it is better for the environment it helps to keep all of this as pristine as it is. Reporting for the newsroom from the mining tongue of Linden, I'm Prashani Ragabir.